Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff. We're doing another Just Fun tour, and I'm really excited about today's tour. We're touring the island of Jellyfish, which is a realistic Japanese city or town set in the springtime. As you can tell, cherry blossoms everywhere. It's so pretty. I can't wait to get started. Before we do, though, let's start by checking out our map. So, as you can see by the map, there's not really any area that's just a residential area. It's kind of all strewn throughout. Uh, there's a bunch of cliff sides and areas to go into. And look at these characters. Murphy's cute. Fauna. We have Shino on Funland. They have Lolly. Genji. They have Sasha. They have Judy. They have Dobby. They have all my favorites. Snake and Cookie. There are so many cute, cute villagers in this island. And at the bottom is the dream address. So if you want to hop on and tour around with me, go ahead, take that down. Jump into the island. Let's get started. Let's head in. And like I said, this is a realistic city. So look at the roads. Look at the streets. Look at the little shops and the cars. This is so cute. Look at the customs. Those are the cubes. Oh my goodness. When a cube is done, right? Oh my goodness. So pretty. Cute little area. Oh, the museum is down here on the beach kind of tucked away. I guess it wouldn't really fit into a city type setting. So that's a good spot for it. Look at all the cherry blossom lanterns. That is so pretty. And the customs. Amazing. Let's get into the city. Going around the cars. Oh, there's like a little stop outside of resident services. I love that they have the fences there. The stop walk or crosswalk, I should say, with the stoplight. Love that. The little shops everywhere. There's like a little noodle stand here. There's something that's open over here. Look at all the cherry blossom lanterns though. But I really do feel like I'm walking through a city or a town. And again, here's some of the residential area. The houses are kind of mixed in with the city, which is so cool. I love the detail though on all the little shops and stalls that you're walking by. Too cute. Look at that big house. I love it. I can't get over the amount of customs. Is that shooting stars I hear too? How perfect is that? But there is more streets to explore. Oh my goodness. Look at that skyline. That is so amazing. You're look, look at the little houses down there. Genji is on one of the signs. Oh, it is shooting stars. I can hear them. Yes, it is. Oh, how pretty. But look at that skyline. I can't get over that. It looks like you're in a little town over here. And then across the water, there's Murphy, is the big skyline. That's so pretty. I can't even remember those electrical panels or boxes they're using as the actual skylines and then look at all the cubes and the little houses and the panels oh judy's on one of the signs too that's amazing i love that that is absolutely amazing what a crazy skyline you still go around there's more city to see look at the shops and the cubes in the windows. Oh, the displays. Wow. Just absolutely wow. That is so good. I'm in awe right now. And then you go down the stairs and there's more stores and shops. I can't get over the cherry blossom lanterns inside the windows. That's so pretty with the plates and the vases. This is amazing. You can see more of the water from back here. Look at... It's all the detail that I can't get over. Like, look at these windows. We'll call them windows. They are the display boxes for museums. But look at the windows 
and the cubes with the customs in them. Like, there is no detail that is left out on this island. It's phenomenal. Stoplights are Genji. Look at these shops. I can't get over it. With all the signs and the moving animations, it's like having the advertisements that are going across that you see in the actual cities. This is just phenomenal. Oh, somebody left a bike. I don't know if you can rent that off or it's just sitting there. Look at the TVs up there inside. Or Yeah, it is a TV that's going. And look, they've got even a, one of the claw machines in the corner over here if you can see it. Genji on the cube. I can't get over the customs. This is phenomenal. Gonna keep heading down the streets. There's tons of these little ramen shops. It looks like you can go into little side doors here. Go through the curtain and you're into the little ramen shop. That's fantastic. There's a little clothing shop over here. Look at the little custom on the sign and again it looks like you can walk through the curtain oh you can open the curtains okay look at the bags this is i'm just in awe of this this is amazing i love this you can sit out front somebody's having tea it's a little shop just look at the artwork though in there i love that picture of judy inside there's bonsai trees, all the lamps. It's lit up so well. I love a good island that is lit up. I just, I think there's something magical about this game at night. Oh, we can go up a level. There's some more residential area here. Oh no, somebody lost something. There's one of the houses. You're kind of in behind everything. Now it does take a second for stuff to populate but I think considering the amount of items that have been added to this island I'm gonna take that because the lag is not bad by any means look at these buildings though just keep heading down the streets and there's all sorts of shops and areas to go into and I'm I haven't even scratched the surface oh we're down again look at Genji on all of the signs this is fan Fantastic. Another, is this a house? It looks like a house. Okay, we're into more of our shopping district here. I mean, the whole island is covered in interesting shops and places to go see, but this is obviously where they have Able Sisters. And over here is Nook's Cranny. I love the signage everywhere. This is just, this is amazing. More residential down here. There's Judy. The beaches, super, super simple. And I'm loving that because, oh, there's the campsite. I'm loving how simple the beaches are because there is just so much going on in the interior of the island that I don't think you need the beaches. It's all about the city for this one. Looks like there's a little bus stop here. You can sit, wait. I love the cars everywhere. This feels like an actual city. It's, it's done so well. More residential over here, more cars. There's some houses on the beach. You head up and look another like restaurant style got the advertisements it's got the little booths where you can sit and eat your food i love the stools dobby dobby is like one of my favorite characters i was hoping for him on my last villager hunt but we had to get a piggy and i'm not i'm not mad about the piggy but i really want dobby we're back to where that little bus stop was Did, yeah we took this route didn't we yes there's just so much going on, and the streets are so well mapped out. That's what's awesome about this. You can just keep traveling the streets, and you're going to find amazing stuff. And then we're back at where the skyline is, which is literally one of my favorite things. This is amazing. I'm going to go ahead, though, and end the tour here. I think 
We have seen a lot of what this city has to offer. I'm sure there's other hidden surprises. I hope you came along and toured with me. If you did, let me know. And if you do come and visit or want to come and visit and you weren't able to right now, I will leave the dream address in the description so you can come and check out Jellyfish on your own. But I would say well worth it if you're doing like a city style design for your island. The inspiration here is amazing. Just look at that view. But thank you again for coming on this tour with me. If you like the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed, you are amazing. Thank you so much. And we will definitely be back with more Animal Crossing videos.